Hello, cozy friends. How are we this week? Oh, I don't even have anything to cheers you with. You know what? Actually, I got a mini fridge this week. I know, splurge. Um, but you know what? I'm starting my job next week, okay? I'm going to have lawyer money. I can buy a little mini fridge. It was like 30 bucks <laughs> at Nordstrom Rack, if you're curious. Really small. But anyways, I can fit drinks in it. So I do have a drink. Hold on. I have a little boba drink. I think they're good. I don't know. Sometimes they're weird. Hopefully this one isn't weird. All right, y'all. I, I didn't forget about the eggs. We need to do the eggs. Interesting. Wow. It tastes like cereal milk, but like, um, cereal milk, like a little bit of, um, with a little bit of like almond. Ew, corn syrup, hydrogenated coconut oil. Disgusting. I wish I didn't read this. <laughs> well, it tastes good. Hey, I worry about poo all the time and you can't stop me. Sam's birthday this time around. Okay. And then Willie's birthday is coming up. And you know what? A little birdie on, in the comments last time told me I should get to 10 hearts with Willie as soon as possible. Star fruit. Okay, fine. And I don't, I'm not going to say what the thing is, but I know what the thing is. And probably some of you know what the, what the reason is. I'm going to do that. So do we know what he loves? Do we know... Oh no, we're so far down in hearts with him. No, we don't even know what he loves. What does he love? Okay, he loves a diamond, gold pumpkin, pearl, pumpkin, mead. Okay, we could do mead or diamond. We can definitely do, do, uh, I'll just keep a couple diamond out for him. You know, I don't, what else do I use diamond for? Our ancient fruits ready. Okay, let me check my luck before I put this in the damn thing. Oh, they regrow though, I forgot. So it doesn't really matter. I can just go for it if I want. Okay, they won't be on my side, so maybe we'll just put, we'll put one in here and we'll keep the other one. All right, so let's put this guy back in the greenhouse. Are these done? Look at that, we have red cabbage. We can finish that thing. We still don't have wheat because I'm a dum-dum don't have an apple tree because I'm also a dum dum. Oh yeah, baby. Look at all these eggs. He's not getting my dino egg though. I'll tell you that. And we don't have to feed these little guys anymore. Yay. Okay, so I just need to put an auto auto grabber. No, Bussy got out. Bussy, go back. Oh my god, okay. I'll just let him out for now. Ooh, look at all that sugar. Look at all that sugar. Do we have that? I wish I told you if you, you know, if it was new here. Okay. Let's see if that one is new. No. Wait, I haven't donated a diamond yet? I think sometimes I think some gems just aren't donatable because they're like so basic. I don't have an explanation for that one actually. All right, I'm trying to find Lily. Lily? Lily? Well, let's go get Willy. Hey buddy, here's your diamond. Yeah. Oh, he said something nice and I don't know what it was. Wait, what the hell is she doing? I thought, I thought little miss was carrying a thing of bait. I didn't realize that was Vincent. I thought she was carrying a thing. You know that, that this thing? I'll show you. Listen, hear me out. This thing. Now I realize that doesn't look the same at all, but it looked similar. Someone understand me. Somebody sympathize, please. All right, buddy, I got your eggs. Do I get friendship or something? What do I get for this, huh? Good evening. Oh, I got 3,000. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think that's better than if I turned it into like um, mayo, but <laughs> at least maybe, at least we'll get the fun, like um, the fun event for it. What is that? Are those columns? Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna get the apple one now. Oh my husband, hello, how are you? He is so caring and kind, you know? Just a true gentleman, really. Here we go. Friendship. All right, what do we get? Some cloth, maybe? A seed maker. That's nice, I guess. That's good. Could always have another. 
we just need a pomegranate. Oh, did I just get one? Pomegranate and some wheat. Okay, maybe I'll go... Oh, I can't. It's 440. I was going to check the shop for wheat seeds. Because I feel like he always has wheat seeds. There's a little less pollen in the summer. My nose is really happy. Oh, I forgot he has allergies. There we go. Okay, we have uh, six, so we have all of them. So now I can just do whichever ones I want up there. Let's put another seed maker here. And let's hope for better luck tomorrow. What the heck? Didn't do anything for the rest of that day. So sleep time. Not being productive and sleeping. It's what I know best. Sheila's sleeping so cutely on the ground right now. Up and at M. Let's check our first things first. Why? I just want to know why. Why in the spring? What did the spring do to anybody? Thanks for the eggs. Please accept this gift. A mini fridge. It's like, it's like my real life mini fridge. I get a mini fridge. That's so cute. How, where, where should I put it? Just right, <laughs> put it right at the foot of my bed. And I don't wanna hear a gosh dang word about it, okay? That's my mini fridge and I'm proud of her. Okay, so how exactly do we, <laughs> how do we do the cutscene with the big omelet? Isn't that, a, am I making that up? I don't think I am. I swear I'm not. Maybe I have to walk into town. Oh, and the pomegranate tree hasn't grown yet, so I wasn't stupid. Does anyone else at this stage of the game like feel bad if you just sell, f sell fruit and don't do anything else with it, like artisan goods? Can you put a golden pumpkin in the thing and get a, a golden pumpkin seed? Questions that need answers. I'm gonna give pumpkin a, I'm gonna give pumpkin a pumpkin. I'm gonna give Willie a pumpkin. I kinda wanna put, I kinda wanna do more decor maybe. Here are Wills. Here is a pumpkin. How are we doing so far? Me immediately checking the freaking hearts. Okay, I think we gained one heart with him. Hoping to gain a little bit more. Also, I was hoping to trigger a cutscene. What? Yay! Omelette cutscene, omelette cutscene. Well, folks, once again, we're gathered for a very special occasion. A rare visit from a very dear friend. My world famous giant omelet, zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, and tangy cheese, all enrobed in a blanket of rich, fluffy egg. Dig in, folks. Oh my goodness. Everyone's chomping on it. Willie, what do you think? Hmm. Is it crunchy? The mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. <gasps> Don't insult my man. Is that a good thing? A lad. Aw, oh, aye, lad. It's great, Gus, and it tastes even better because it's on the house. These eggs are so rich and yellow. Marnie, are these from your place? No. Yeah, you can thank me over at Tonkatsu Farm. Mmm, Tonkatsu eggs. So does that mean we? I got friendship with everybody there? Is that what that means? Do they love me more? Do you love me more now? Huh? I don't know. I don't think so. But that was still fun, that was good. That was exactly as fulfilling as I needed it to be. Oh, wheat. That's cool wallpaper. That's cool. Also, someone suggested I get the catalog and I agree I should get the catalog, but corn seeds. Oh wait, wheat seeds, there we go. I'm just gonna go plant these puppies. I think I'll plant some in my greenhouse. And I think we could do it outside because it's only summer 16. Okay, one, two, there we go. Okay, we got wheat taken care of. Me closing the one side of the gate that's busted. So what kind of floor are we looking at doing? I think I wanna do some of these. And I think I wanna do some of these. And I know, I know, I know some of y'all are gonna be like, why aren't you using that on stuff that matters? I just want it to look cute, man. Okay, I kinda want it to look rustic because I think I wanna put some grass. All right, so let's put some, can we do some grass? 
That's what I'm talking about. Yes, besties. Look at that. Flourishing. Except there's nothing for me to cut down in the forest because I already cut down everything. There we go. Okay, so no uh, grass. Very little grass. Very, very little. We might be able to make one more thing of grass. And I'd be happy with that. I just want a little, little tuft. Yay! We can make exactly one. And I shall put it here. Yay! Maybe it'll grow on its own, you know? Let me sell. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go get the mayo so that we can sell it. So that hopefully we can get enough for an auto grabber. Ooh. Okay. Good night. Oh, oh yay! We got 15,000! That means we can definitely get um the auto hell yeah look at that thing shaking is it sam's birthday today yeah okay what is that kid like they're very happy today very happy is not the most happy right very happy usually is the most happy ecstatic i don't know but i'm gonna put both in while i have a chance both of them okay we got a we got a uh Seed instead of mixed seeds, so that's good. Starting off great. All right, we got a seed from both of them. Amazing. Let us rejoice. Two and three. Nice. Okay, is there anywhere we can plant this this one? No. Oh, here we go. Nice. Our little babies. I love you so much. It's auto grabber time. It sure is. Also, just popping in to say I love you. Just breaking the fourth wall for a minute to say I love you and appreciate y'all. I felt extra, extra sappy this week just because it's my last week of, of full-time content creating and I will be joining the workforce, as I've said. And everybody was so freaking nice to me on stream on Tuesday and gifted over a hundred subs just on Tuesday, which is insane and super sweet. And that wasn't even the thing I cried, but that wasn't even the thing that made me cry. The thing that made me cry was that everybody was being super nice and just saying how much this community and like the streams and videos and stuff have impacted them and like just brought them to a safe space and around a group of safe people. Also, I forgot I could put poo in a hat, so I'm gonna do that immediately. And that just means so much to me. And like I've said before, look at him. Oh my God, look at Pooh, what a dapper boy. I worked my whole life just to like be successful. And for me, that looked like just excelling in school and going to law school and doing like a successful career path to set myself up so that I know I'd have like a certain amount of money and I wouldn't have to worry about money and like I could support my family and stuff like that. That to me is like was like life pur life's purpose. Like that's I didn't worry about like, oh, will I be happy? Da, da, da. What do I do to make myself happy? I didn't think about that. I didn't even have time to stop to think about that until ayo until I like got my job secured. I was kind of at the end of law school and then I could finally be like, what do I like in life? Like, what am I doing? What brings me joy? What brings me purpose? And it was this and y'all giving me the platform to be able to do this. Hello, stop it. No. Yeah, like I said this on stream, but like, genuinely have purpose and meaning in my life because like a job is a job like <laughs> I'm so grateful for my job I will be ecstatic to be working at my job but a job is a job and you gotta find some other things in life that are like bringing you joy because the second that your job doesn't bring you joy if it's your whole life and your whole identity you don't have much left you know and like you could turn 40 50 whatever look around and be like what what, what if I just worked all my my whole life my life was just working honestly I like I said I was kind of okay with that idea I was like well that's just what life is I just have to do what's expected of me and I have to do what will you know make me successful and um, I'm just happy that I have in my opinion at such a young age been able to realize and go after the things that will actually 
give my life a certain amount of depth and dynamicism and meaning and connections as well because a lot of y'all have become like genuine close friends and will be for life and I've started D&D campaigns in my Discord and I play games with a lot of y'all on Discord and even if you're not in the like more social bunch of us that talk all the time and hang out all the time you're still here you're still a part of why I can do this and you're still a part of this community and this family I hope that this this can be that interest and that purpose and that sense of like belonging and hobby and interest and passion and all of that that you need to feel like life's life's cool you know life's got a purpose sometimes and, and I'm here for xyz reason and yeah that's it <laughs> kind of a thank you and also a like if you're looking for that meaning yourself like I hope that I can provide that for you in some way because y'all have provided that for me. And that's it. I'll stop being sappy. I almost went to Piers. It's Wednesday, you fool. And I know, so last week I asked y'all. <laughs> that all started because I was like going to talk about how I really appreciate when people kind of come out and say, I never comment on things and like I don't really... You know, I'm not social or whatever, but I feel inclined because I feel so comfortable here and that warms my heart so much. And so many people that we've become so close with and become like this tight knit family that, by the way, you can always join. We all, we are, we welcome people with open arms every day. <laughs> it's not like an exclusive family or something. Everybody in there uh, is a like super, super introvert that is like terrified of talking to people, hasn't been able to find people in their real life to make connections with, or they do and they just like, you know, not in the areas that they want. We've all found a way to feel comfortable around each other and like giving each other that area on the internets, on the interwebs where we actually feel safe because there's so many discords I've joined and been like, ah, maybe this is the community that I'll find. And I never can because I can't like hop in anywhere and I don't, I don't know, I don't, I just don't feel it. I think like my smaller discord is where all of the people who felt that way in other discords came and gathered. And so now we're kind of each other's family and it's really nice. Um, oh, it's Sam's birthday. What is he like? You know what he loves? Sam, what do you love? He loves pizza. Okay, he loves pizza. Odd, but okay. I'm gonna buy you a pizza. I am honored to be that space for some of y'all and not be, but like provide that space. And I hope that if you don't feel that way yet, they like you will. And if you don't, if you never do, and you kind of just like having stopping in this space and, and leaving when you want to, that's cool too. And I'm just happy that y'all are here in whatever capacity. If you are feeling a bit lonely and looking for a little family of your own, you found one, baby. Like I said, open arms, welcoming arms, always, always, always. All right. Should we go get my husband wine? Okay, let's do, I want to pickle some of these and then we'll pickle some of these. All the exotic ones. No. There we go. But what has y'all's experience been with like online communities and stuff? Like have you, have you always kind of found it easy to join them, like find them and join them? Are you like somebody who's like, nah, I kind of like have my connections in personal life and I'm good with that. And kind of like your your relationship with creators I'm curious about too as well. Because for me, I, I'm not somebody who will typically like attach to a creator. But I have a few. I have I do have a few that like for some reason I just like have this attachment to and I'm like, yeah, we're friends. <laughs> and I love that. And the way that some of y'all had said that I'm that for you is like the coolest thing ever. And I yes, we are friends. We are. Parasocial relationships be damned. I I feel like I often try to actually blur the lines in a good way, I hope, of parasocial relationships because I really do like with my strongest supporters um, and, and not my strongest, some people who just like want to be my friend and don't and like kind of don't watch all my content, but just like are like, hey, you seem cool, let's be friends. I genuinely am really good friends with a lot of them. And I like it that way. I like seeing comments and seeing people in chat that like are my actual friends because I've like gotten close to them and become friends with them. It just, it just makes it like realer almost, you know? And I like that. <laughs> I value real connections. I don't, I, you know, 
when I say this stuff, I don't say it to be fluffy and, and whatever. Like, I say it because I mean it. I really do love y'all. And if you ever need a friend or someone to talk to, me and the rest of the fam are here for you. Okay, okay, I'll be done. I'm, I'm, I'll stop, I'll stop. 11,000? Oh, my ma'am. All right, last day, last day. Okay, so now I think we should maybe try and upgrade our tools. Okay, they're feeling neutral today, which is fine. I don't need them to be feeling any kind of way. Thank you, Pam. Also, just some reflections. If anybody's curious what, like, being a content creator is like. I know I always found it interesting, but maybe that's because, like, I wanted to be deep down, and that's why I've always, like, thought content creator information was interesting. But here's some, even if you didn't. <laughs> even if you don't I think it's interesting. The way that I work is that I need to be busy 24-7. I need to be doing something. I think I mentioned this before, but, like, in college, um, when my, like, schedule was ever light, even in the first year, like, I got a job my very first semester, like, out in the city, not on campus, just, like, out in the city, got a job because I just, like, knew I had to, like, fill up my time because I was, like, not happy how things were going, really. I, like, didn't like being social. I tried, I forced myself to be social and I hated it. Um, and I didn't even know I hated it. I was just, like, sad all the time and I didn't know why I was sad all the time. But looking back, obviously, it's because I was, like, trying to do extroverted things and I had people in my room all the time. And I didn't know that I just like needed alone time to recharge because that language was like a couple years out still. The language of like introvert, extrovert and like how to handle those things. It was just like a couple more years I needed. I was forcing myself to try and be a certain way. I was like not happy. Something in me was like, girl, you just gotta get out. You gotta get out and go work. <laughs> and so I've just filled my time and that made me genuinely so happy to like have a life and things outside of the like all encompassing college world and like I had a whole community of like adults at work at this restaurant that I worked at and I loved that I loved having like separate spheres of my life I wonder what that's about I'll have to talk about that in therapy I often joke about that but that one actually I'm making a mental note to talk about that in therapy why do I need separate spheres of my life completely separate all of that is to say I, I am somebody who like thrives and is happy when I'm like constantly doing things. Maybe that's like a coping mechanism or something. But like I also do really enjoy like contemplative time alone with my thoughts. So I don't think that it's like running away from thoughts and alone time. I've I've done a lot of reflecting. I don't think it's that. I think it's just like I like to feel like I'm contributing to something and I'm like being I'm not even productive, just like contributing to something and bettering myself. And so in my last year of law school, when I had like nothing to do, I put my all into the content creation and I basically like took up most of my time doing that. And then like as it started to snowball and gain traction, I like put my all my all into it because I saw that it could actually go somewhere and I was like hell yeah I'm gonna put my absolute all into this and I am really excited about it like literally haven't slowed down since and like even when other things picked up like the bar and stuff like that I was like nope I care too much about this I care too much about it and I like staying busy so every hour every second of my day is gonna be spent doing either work that I have to do or content work because I love it and so now that I've had two months of downtime of I could I could have done like absolutely nothing I've been doing like probably 50 50 hours a week maybe more of content creation like I've made it a full-time job and um and I don't really know my point I've, I kind of lost the plot there but just wait for this hopefully it doesn't take too long I feel like it will I, I genuinely lost the plot of what I was talking about I think just that content creation it is like a full-time job and it takes a lot of work and a lot of planning and a lot of self-motivation and you're putting in as many hours as you want to put in as you have the capacity to put in and you're and you're venturing into areas areas again that you ha only want to and have the capacity to do like nobody's sitting there like you should start doing YouTube and you should start doing these videos and you should start doing this but it's also so rewarding and it doesn't feel like 50 hours of work per week because it's something you like doing and it just it like makes life like I wake up I'm getting emotional stop 
I wake up and like, I guess I'm like a little bit overwhelmed and stressed because I like have so many ideas and like, ah, I could grow in so many ways and so many different platforms and like, I'm not growing enough and whatever. Like I have stress about that constantly, but it's like a, it's like an excited stress and it's like a, it's a stress that's your own. And it's like something you can be proud of because like you've gotten to a point, you've brought, gotten to a point where you can even stress about it and like even worry about it and like even have opportunities to like think about taking or not taking. And it's just so much cooler than <laughs> stress about like ah someone yelled at me at work today or something and I feel like that would go the same for like entrepreneurship probably oh look at that it took so goddamn long and now Clint's is closed and I, I don't I never learned my lesson I'm gonna go to the tavern I'm gonna buy everybody beers if if you're somebody who has a hobby has a passion and you're like maybe I can work this into content creation I highly suggest it I think it's like it's like that meme where it's like I didn't want to work a nine-to-five so now I'm working 24 7 it's like that but you get satisfaction out of it because it's like again stuff you care about it's your own i love the straddle that's what i think that's what i was gonna say is that like while i'm starting this other job that i'm probably gonna work 50 to 60 hours a week for and it's gonna take up most of my time spending all of the rest of my free time on content creation and this i've had people be like whoa like when are you gonna have free time and like when are you gonna have personal time like free time and personal time is time you you spend to like recharge and make yourself feel good and like make yourself happy and like invest in yourself and that is what this is to me i'm thankful for y'all and I, I guess that's just my my last week before i start a job blabbing time manifesto because i don't know maybe it's a nice thing to look back on and remind myself of when when the going gets tough that's it that's it i know i blabbed a lot all right so next time it's demetrius's birthday um also i just realized that <laughs> i'm talking about things a week late is what i i just realized i forgot that that's what's happening so this week will be the first week of my job all right nighty night y'all thank you for listening to me blab and process <laughs> cozy therapy session <laughs> um i will see you next week and then I have to face the skull caves. I guess I have to face the skull caves at some point. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I guess I have to. Okay, bye, y'all. I love you. Stay cozy.